Hi, Northland Pioneer College nursing students. My name is Betsy Ann Wilson, and I'm the Executive Director of NPC Friends and Family, which is the nonprofit foundation that supports the students of Northland Pioneer College, primarily through the provision of scholarships. I'm here to tell you about an exciting scholarship that has been offered to us once again this year by the Summit Healthcare Foundation solely for nursing students. There are a total of 10 $1,000 scholarship opportunities they're available to all first and second year nursing students at Northland Pioneer College. And I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you what the details are for applying and give you some tips to help your application stand out among the rest so that you can receive the award. A number of you have already probably submitted scholarship applications for Northland Pioneer College friends and family scholarships. And so some of this will be repetitive information, but it doesn't hurt to review and help your colleagues. I wanna congratulate all of you second year nursing students students for having survived your first year and welcome you new nursing students into the program. The associate degree in nursing program at Northland Pioneer College is one of the most challenging yet rewarding things I think you will ever do in your lives and I congratulate you all and thank you for making this choice to serve others as nurses. I'm going to share my screen and introduce to you the Summit Healthcare Foundation Nursing Scholarship for Northland Pioneer College for the 22-23 academic year. You'll also notice that there's a link to connect you to where you can find all the information I'm talking about today on the NPC webpage. So let's go through the application requirements. You may apply for this scholarship if you are enrolled in, that is you're a second year nursing student or accepted into, that is a first year nursing student, the Northland Pioneer College Associate Degree in Nursing program. Um, you have to be enrolled full-time, and that's whatever the nursing program considers to be full-time. For, for some of you first-year students, you're going to be going nine or ten credit hours, um, and, and so it's whatever the nursing department deems as full-time. The typical quote-unquote full-time definition uh, for Northland Pioneer College is 12 credit hours per semester. So if you're a new nursing student going nine to ten credit hours, you may apply for the scholarship. You must have a cumulative GPO of 3.0 or better. That can't be rounded up, I apologize. If it's a 2.99, you're going to have to wait out a year before you try for this scholarship. And finally, you can't be in default of a student loan from any institution, and you can't be in overpayment status with Northland Pioneer College. And what that basically means is that you owe the financial aid office money because you received a financial aid award and didn't complete your semester. So if that applies for you, um, give me a call and let's talk about it, but probably you're not going to be eligible this time around. So how do you apply for this scholarship? So first I want to underscore that you're going to have to submit all of your app application documents as a single PDF file to me at the email provided betsy.wilson at npc.edu. Um, we're going to talk about each of these application documents separately, but let's just go over them right now in total. The first thing that I want to open when I open your PDF application is a completed and signed NPC Friends and Family Scholarship cover letter. And when you go to the link for these application documents that I provided you earlier in the flyer, you will find a fillable PDF of that cover letter. So it's really easy for you to fill out and attach to your application. Your unofficial transcripts are um, inclusive of all the courses that you've completed thus far at Northland Pioneer College. And you can simply download these yourself from your My NPC page. If you need information or help about how to get into your My NPC page, give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll help you with that. And then you need for first year students, a copy of your NPC nursing program acceptance letter. I understand that for some of you, this acceptance letter is going to be contingent upon completion of some prerequisite course that you're admitted as long as you complete bio 205 or you're admitted as long as you provide your fingerprint clearance card. If you're selected for the scholarship award, we're simply going to verify that you have done those things before we award you the scholarship. So it's okay if your acceptance letter says that you're waiting on those things. Just be sure you provide the acceptance letter with your application. And then we're going to talk in detail in a few minutes about the essay, but you're going to be writing an essay that's a little bit different from other NPC friends and family scholarship essays in that it's really specific to the nursing profession and studies in nursing. 
And then finally, you're going to have to provide two letters of recommendation. And I want to caution you that you cannot send these as part of your acceptance, as part of your application packet. They have to come directly from the authors to me, to my email address, betsy.wilson at npc.edu. And you are welcome to share that email address with whomever you request letters from. Letters of recommendation can come from anybody who can attest to your ability to be a good student, a strong student, and or a great nurse or healthcare professional. So these can be people like your instructors, academic advisors, people for whom you have worked professionally, people for whom you volunteered that can attest to these qualities. Just be sure that you don't request letters of recommendation from friends or family members. Sometimes we get those and gosh, we hope your friends and family members will say good things about you. But what we're really looking for is people who can attest to these qualifications from an academic or a professional perspective. They've known you in that way. So that completes your application packet. You're gonna send the cover letter, followed by unofficial transcripts, followed by your nursing program acceptance letter if you're a first year student, followed by your essay. And all of these materials must be received before Thursday, June 9th, 2022. And so we're gonna talk about deadlines too for, for just a few minutes. Um, you see that the deadline is June 9th and, and I invariably get one or two late applications, and I will not accept the late applications for any reason. Why? Because you're learning about this opportunity right now. I will accept your application from this day forward until June 9th. And so if you wait until June 9th and something happens like your computer crashes or your dog kills it or something, I, I will not accept it. It's not fair for me to accept a late application and have it allowed to be considered for funding next to an application from a student who got theirs in well in advance of the deadline. So kind of a tip about that. Um, I'm a procrastinator from way back myself. So I think it's a good idea when you're given a deadline to back it up a week on your own personal calendar. So if, if you see today that the application deadline is June 9th, on your personal calendar, say, I need to turn my application into Betsy before June 2nd. And that way you're absolutely certain it's not gonna be late. I will acknowledge your application by email as soon as I have found it in my inbox. So if you submit it and you wait even a day or two, and I don't have something like an out of office email reply that says I'm, I'm away from my desk for a couple of days and I don't reply to you, by all means, reach out to me, call me or email me and say, Betsy, I sent you my application and I haven't heard back. Did you receive it? Because I want to be sure that it's acknowledged and that you know it's in. The same caution for um, deadlines goes for your recommenders. So if you request letters of recommendation from people, tell them they have to have them to me by June 2nd. That way they are not going to miss the deadline and jeopardize your opportunity to be considered for the scholarship. So now I just want to talk a little bit about the components of this essay because it is a little bit different from other NPC Friends and Family Scholarship essays. Um, in, in, in any case, no matter whether you're applying for this scholarship or a scholarship from NPC Friends and Family or a scholarship from another funder, scholarship funders, the people who provide scholarships are looking for really what's kind of the best investment in the money that they've donated to provide that scholarship. So they're looking for students who are capable and resourceful, who will very likely finish what they started and become a nurse, become a registered nurse in this case. And they're also looking for students who kind of stand apart, not only because they're interested in becoming a nurse, but because they show passion for it, because they convey that it's really their desire to, to make this their life's work. That's what's gonna set you apart is if you can convey that sort of sense of passion. So how in the heck are you gonna do that? Well, let's talk about the components of the essay. You see that the first thing that they're asking um, in, the, in the description is why are you pursuing a career in healthcare? Many students really effectively introduce themselves in essays by telling a story. And it's a story about themselves and why they became interested in whatever it was they want to do. So rather than just saying, my name is Susie Smith and, and I decided I wanted to become a nurse because I love to help people, um, talk about a story that, that maybe you experienced through 
your own path through an illness or an injury, or maybe a loved one's, or what is it that, you know, you saw a baby born, or you had your own children or something like that. What, what was that spark moment that convinced you that you wanted to enter a career as a, as a nurse and talk about that in your first, um, in your first paragraph, let your passion come through, let who you are come through, because in all likelihood, you're never going to meet the people who are reviewing the scholarship application. So you have to make a strong first impression. And if you make a strong person, first impression by a personal story, you've already got them on your side. So when they go to the next paragraph, they're already kind of thinking, I like this person. I really want to hear what else they have to say. So after you've told your story in a compelling first paragraph, when we ask about what your plans are for achieving a nursing career, what we're specifically looking at here is, do you really know what you're getting into educationally? So in this paragraph, talk in specifics about your degree plan. Uh, how many credits have you completed toward your program? When do you think that you will finish? What, what semester and year do you think you will graduate? And um, when are you going to take your NCLEX for certification? Um, so that the, the scholarship review committee has a sense that you really know where you're going. It's also totally okay to say in this paragraph that if you're going beyond Northland Pioneer College and you want to get your BSN and you want to go on to specialize in um, obstetrics or you want to go on to be an ER nurse or you want to go on to um, intensive care, this is where you can talk about that a little bit so that they have an idea that um, this is what you want to do for your ultimate goal, you know, beyond Northland Pioneer College, what are you ultimately going to do? And that gives them a stronger sense of who you are. Um, then when you're talking about the third paragraph, you're discussing your view of the role of the nurse in the hospital and community. And I want you to think about this in terms of a deep answer. Don't state the obvious and say, you know, nurses take care of people, you know, nurses are the the liaison between the, the patient and the doctor and the family and things like that. Go into depth and talk about why are nurses really important in a hospital? What do nurses really do for a community? Um, aside from, you know, maybe being a community health nurse, do they provide outreach? Do they teach about, um, you know, are there public health nurses? Do they, do they volunteer? Do they serve as role models? What do you think? What does it mean to you to be a nurse in a community and to be a nurse within a healthcare setting like a hospital. And, and again, what reviewers are looking for here and what you wanna convey sort of between the lines is your passion for your chosen profession and your capability to carry it out based on your broad understanding of what it's all about to be a nurse. And then finally, in the fourth paragraph, you're gonna talk about what resources you have to fund your nursing education and how you will use this $1,000 scholarship if it's awarded to you. So this is, this is going to be um, the content of your 1,000 word essay. Be sure that you do not exceed the word limit because that gives the reviewers a reason to disqualify you, but be sure that you tell as much as you need to. So if you're told to write a thousand word essay, it's probably best to be pretty close to that and not to write a 500 word essay because you're probably leaving out some important information. If you um, complete your essay within the next couple of weeks and you'd like me to review it for you before you submit your full application and be sure that it's, you know, not only correct from the standpoint of punctuation, grammar, spelling, and, and all of those things, but that it seems to, to convey the tone that I think review committees look for, I'll be happy to do that for you. Just send it to me either as a word attachment, I really prefer a word attachment, or share it, share it as a Google Doc. Please don't send it as a PDF, send your application as a PDF. And again, the due date is Thursday, June 9th. The money will be dispersed to awardees two to three weeks prior to the start of the fall 2022 semester. And if you are registered and you win this scholarship, the business office will flag your account so that you're not going to be dropped for non-payment when they know you have a thousand dollar scholarship coming. So um, I expect to let applicants know of the outcome of their submissions before July 1st with the application due date of June 9th. And then for the, funny, the money to be dispersed to you about two to three weeks prior to the start of the semester. So let's do a quick recap. You're gonna submit all your documents to me as a single PDF file. 
This is gonna be a completed and signed scholarship cover letter. You can access this cover letter through the link provided at the top of this flyer. And also you can just go to npc.edu slash scholarships, use NPC friends and family as your search term, and you'll find this opportunity for the Summit Healthcare Foundation Nursing Scholarship. So do the cover letter form, then followed by your official transcripts, which you can download from my MPC, a copy of your acceptance letter if you're a first year student, the essay that we just spoke about, and you're gonna send that to me as a single PDF and then get two letters of recommendation from people who can attest to your academic and professional competency to be considered for this scholarship. So this concludes my presentation about the NPC Friends and Family Summit Healthcare Nursing Scholarship. For future reference, NPC Friends and Family offers almost 30 scholarships every semester for the following semester. So for example, our next regular NPC Friends and Family Scholarship competition will open on October 1st and close around November 15th. And that'll be for scholarships for the spring semester. And then in the spring, scholarship applications are accepted beginning March 1st and closing around the mid part of April for the fall semester. You can find all the NPC Friends and Family Scholarships we have available every semester at npc.edu slash scholarships using NPC friends and family as your search term. Another tip is that any one of those scholarships you click on will provide you with an outline on how to write a scholarship essay, as well as a video tutorial similar to what you're watching on how to prepare your scholarship application and some tips for making your essay stand out among others so that you can be considered for the scholarship. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions at all, please um, send me an email at betsy.wilson at npc.edu and I'll be happy to try to help you. Again, uh, congratulations and best wishes as you go forward on your journey. I look forward to seeing all of you at your pinning ceremonies and I wish you all the best. Have a great day.